Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Bettencourt from Bettencourt Originals and I am very blessed and humbled to be here at the Customs House Museum in my hometown of Clarksville, Tennessee and I have an exhibit going on from June to July 13th. I hope you guys can come and see it. Yes, I'm blind. I've been blind for over 12 years now. I've only been painting for five years and I paint with my hands. What I use is textured acrylics and tactile puffy paint, which is raised paint. And in actuality, every object has a shape. So what I do in my mind mentally, I break it down into, it's a bit, it's a bit of a mathematics, I break it down into geometric shapes and linear lines. And then I reconstruct it on canvas using my tactile lines. I also have assistive technology, my iPad and my iPhone, where there's applications on it where I can identify my colors and go from there. I do, I actually enjoy painting flowers and this is why, before I lost my eyesight, I was an avid gardener. I, I used to garden all the time and I miss it. So I do remember details of certain flowers like roses and irises and daisies. Well, I'm an advocate for persons with disabilities and I was doing speaking engagements before I found painting. And um, now, I in my speaking engagements, I incorporate in the details of my artwork. I really enjoy and find it rewarding and it puts me at ease painting. So what I like to do is I like, and the end result with my paintings are in actuality is for the visual world to enjoy, but I like to relay that anything is possible. Well, I think they would be surprised to learn that I have no art education background whatsoever. <laughs> and I don't have any experience in art before I lost my eyesight. I found the skill after I lost my eyesight, so that keeps me very humble. And um, I also have my Bachelor's of Science in Teaching and Special Education from Austin Peay State University, and I have my teaching license. That's an interesting question, because like many other small businesses, this pandemic has really hurt my business, Betancourt Originals. So now my focus is on myself, my business, and working very hard to regain the financial stability I need while being able to still give back to my community and also help others move forward, adapting and overcoming no matter what the challenges lie ahead. Hey, it's great to get to spend some time with you and, and talk about you and your career. Thank Thanks you for having me. Again. Thank you.